In this video, what we're going to do is we're going to show you uh, something you want to check on embedded touchscreens, mainly on the bikes, the cross trainers, and the uh, steppers. Um, there is an error code that you might see pop up, an error code 23 uh, tends to be one of them, error code 21s. And what that is, is uh, there is a, uh, a bad connection on the back, and we're going to show you where to check and find that connection, and what you can do to prevent that from happening. In order to get into the back of the embedded touchscreen on these, uh, the bike here, what we need to do is just remove all the screws from the outside and, um, and then we'll be able to open it up and see. Now that we got the screws out of the back, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open up the uh, embedded screen. And what we want to look is we want to look in this area um, right here. Um, and if you, if you look you could see some of these get a little bit uh, dinged up and bent. Uh, in some cases, uh, we've seen somewhere this connection right here uh, is gets a little bit bent up. And what's causing that is when you look here on these plastic ribs and sometimes if you don't route the cables just right, these plastic ribs can interfere. Now you'll notice there's a cutouts in here and that should eliminate that from happening uh, but we're getting reports where people are just having a really hard time just trying to route all the wires and so uh, one of the things we're going to show you uh, that you can do is uh, simply just break away the plastics a little bit and that'll give you the space that you need and will prevent that uh, pinching in order to get these ribs out of the way, all you need to do is get some pliers, needle nose pliers, something to just grip on there. And then once you get it gripped on there, just break it off. And now that these ribs are out of the way, um, there should be no interference. And you can go ahead and reinstall the embedded head.